Hey everyone, hope you're in the holiday spirit. As you know, we were going to be doing movie uh, commentary and reviews. Um, I'm going to be skipping to the movie. As again, if you don't own this movie, I don't know why, but if you're watching this, you obviously own the movie. If you haven't owned the movie, uh, there are for YouTube release copyright on pretty much all these movies I'm going to be doing on this channel. So, that being said, you can find the whole movie on YouTube if you choose to. Um, if not, you can find you, I can't show you right now because I have my green screen on, but you can find you a nice cheap copy of about maybe eight, nine dollars for Walmart, Target, whatever, especially during Black Friday, you get you a nice copy of this movie right now. So maybe even less than that on eBay, maybe two dollars, three dollars. So I, it's not going to be hard to find. Okay. Um, so we're going to be click it on the heart. I remember this movie when I was a lot younger. I, uh. I watched this movie when I was younger. I know the base storyline of it. It's just pretty much about how uh, this girl is has to marry this guy. She's blind and she can't see how he's ugly or something like that. That's what I believe the storyline is about. And then she actually finds a guy that really cares about her, but she can't really figure it out because she's blind. And I think that guy has money. But anyway. Uh, we're gonna get. We're not doing without the red nosed reindeer. I'm sorry. That's another one I'm about to. We'll get to later. But I just, I watched that movie so many times when I was a kid. It's just completely stuck in my head. I just can't watch that movie again. Um. So I will say, let's go ahead and get right into this. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, guys. It help out. Appreciate it. We are doing amazing with subscribing uh for this year i'm so thankful i know with the pandemic and i've been so grateful right now to get, continue to get subscribers daily and i'm happy about that as a small creator so make sure uh when we want to reach 1000 okay so that'd be great uh if we can reach 1000 and thank you yeah let's go ahead and get right into this uh yeah i'm mean, pretty excited and let's start it Hey everyone, so I uh, so we're gonna talk about today's sponsor guys just real quick. Uh, today's sponsor is APG Studios guys. Um so it's sponsored by us, yes. Um so guys, just make sure you guys there's a few things we ask for you guys. Is this supposed to channel? Uh nothing that costs money, just easy for you to do. You can go ahead and also check out our Discord, trying to build a community. So all you have to do, the link is in the description. Just go ahead and uh, check out that Discord, we'd much appreciate it also if you want to do is make sure you go out and also check out our uh, instagram page as well instagram page is labeled just in the description as well you can see here too as well you can see the instagram page it's an awesome instagram page we post daily try to post daily we have instagram reels we post on instagram reels we post a lot of content information news you might want to know um we post on story all the time so if you want to stay up to date on tiktok and all the social media make sure you go to instagram and check us out we post daily tiktok windows and all kinds of stuff like that same as a disco we post new videos and upcoming videos and we also would like people to start telling us what they would want us to see and what do you think will be interesting so make sure you check out the discord guys the discord is in the description we must appreciate if you go ahead and check that out and let's start getting community going guys and uh, we appreciate you guys for watching uh, we appreciate the hard work you guys put in um for supporting the channel and we thank you for that and uh, we just ask that you just check out our social media guys let's build them up uh yeah thank you guys let's get right back to this video sort of special for everybody and we have a very special show that I sincerely believe will heighten your Christmas. Now, as you all know, Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol is one of the most famous pieces in literature. But very few people know that Dickens wrote another beautiful rendering of Christmas called Cricket on the Hearth. Matter of fact, I just found out about it myself. You never heard of the lucky Cricket on the Hearth? Well, it all started in merry old England a long time ago. Uh, here. Lend an ear. One Christmas morning you may look into your stocking and find that something shocking has occurred. Among the candy canes and toys you'll hear a funny little noise. You've got yourself a cricket on the heart. Bye-bye by the fireside And luck will come and 
All right, so we're gonna fast for this a little bit, but I'm gonna talk about what we just saw. So first off, if y'all don't know what wishbones are, I don't know what to tell you. Um, also, uh, yeah. So I like these old timey Christmas animations. Like the snow reminds me of so many old movies I used to watch. And these movies were made long before I was actually born, but you know they're just traditional Christmas movies. Um, not uh, they're traditional. Uh, pretty much everyone that probably voiced these, except for the kid voices, are probably pretty much dead. And the kids that voiced this are probably maybe in the late sixties and maybe the seventy years old right now. So, uh, I would give, I wouldn't pass that upon that. But yeah, all the adult actors, I would say, are pretty much probably dead. If not, it'll probably be about a hundred or something. But if not that, they're pretty much in the grave. Um, I would say the fact is, is that um, that piano that he was playing is an old timey piano. Uh, it's pretty much uh, used back in the day. It's used pretty much in the day, uh, made back in the day. It has a really nice oldie time piano feel to it. So I really like those type of pianos. But let's go ahead and keep watching the story, guys. I'm excited about this. So, yeah. Release you from your promise if you want. Oh, no. Oh, Edward. I, I, I couldn't help myself. See, that, that's the way it is with us crickets. We get involved. My darling, you will be here when I return. Promise. Oh, Edward. I love you so. Don't give your love away. Wait for me, I will come back to you. And we'll have a thousand days of May Don't give your love away I've kissed your smiles away I know waiting will be hard for a pretty good song. And I wish I could do more than say say a lot about these older movies though they would have very long singing sections so hey now for the eyes brown or black or sky blue pink <laughs> <laughs> oh what uh, what can I do for you? You are a certain Caleb Plummer. I am. Call me Jeremiah Bleak. I am a certain agent of Her Majesty the Queen. Oh? You have a certain Bertha Plummer for a daughter, who in turn was engaged to a certain Edward Belton. You mean is engaged? I am sorry, but it is my melancholy duty to inform you that a certain Edward Belton Late of Her Majesty's Royal Navy is lost at sea. Lord have mercy. No! 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 His small mournful effects will to the girl. <gasps> Bertha, Bertha, my darling daughter. It's all a mistake, I'm certain. It could be a mistake, couldn't it? Hardly. Right. So, um, a ship crashing is like saying like a plane went down and people on it might be a mistake that uh, the plane didn't go down even though you saw it go down and, you know, crash. But in this case, during, especially this time, this is so unrealistic, but during this time, though, when they show you ships like that, wooden ships, uh, it would take maybe months or weeks until they find out that a ship sunk because then somebody else sailing next to it would be put it sinking or found pieces of it and then they would put it back to the majesty or they would send another ship out looking for it and that would still take about weeks to months so it wouldn't be about two days or three days after the fact he left for them to find out it would take a, pretty much a while because you'd have to wait for him to not reach the destination he was supposed to reach and then for them to be put back in whatever way they had communication back to the queen that the ship never arrived 
and then yada 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 and you have a long time of information trading before you can come to that conclusion uh this was really way too quickly for you to have that kind of information there oh no <laughs> and one sad day they could no longer pay the rent and they were deep in debt old caleb had no choice but to pack up and leave. Oh, they was hard times, I can tell you. Long, hungry days, looking for a bit of work, anything. Ooh, and finally, one day... No use. Can't go one step farther. We have no other choice. No choice, Father? Well... What do you mean? The poor house? Oh, no. You can't give up. What else can I do? Oh, if we ever needed a little bit of luck. <laughs> is that what I think it is? A toy factory. <laughs> now, I'd wager they could use a fine toy maker like you. Do you think so? Let's find out, mate. Let's find out. Cricket, is Father seeing Mr. Tackleton now? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Shh. So you want a situation as a toy maker, do you? Well, toy makers come thruppence a dozen. Correct your eye up. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a very good worker, sir. And I have my own tools. And, and I'm very good, sir. He's very good, Uriah. <laughs> My friend, Uriah Kaur, thinks that's very funny. I'm sorry. I really best be going. No way. Caleb Plummer, huh? I, I've heard of your skills. Well, you won't be paid anything, but you can live on the premises and there'll be leftover food for you. Whatever you say, sir. Where are the other toy makers? <laughs> Did you hear that, Uriah Kaur? He wants to know where the other toy makers are. <laughs> there are no other toy makers. <laughs> Is this our new home, Father? What's it like? Well, uh, splendid. Splendid. Quite palatial. And Mr. Tackleton, what's he like, Father? Oh, he's fine. And he's made me head man of his entire factory. Oh, Father, how I wish I could see it all. I'll see everything for you, my dear. And everything I see shall be beautiful. I Why does he not have any other toy makers? He said he won't get paid. If you want to listen to the songs, guys, you can easily find them, like I said, again, if you're looking for the thingy. We had to skip to this, too, for YouTube policy. I have to skip around. One of us had to go. Oh, yeah, but I'm getting ahead of my story. It was about a week before Christmas, and poor old Caleb Plummer was working night and day to keep up with the demands of the season, as it were. Plummer, you're using entirely too much paint on the dolls' faces. Just trying to give them nice smiles. Who the blazers cares about smiles? A dot and a half is enough for any doll. Paint costs money. Yes, sir. Oh, but Tackleton Toys was mean and grubby things. Oh, all he cared about was the shillings and pennies they'd bring. But Caleb, oh, he couldn't see them go out into the world like that. So, every night, me and him would sneak in and fix them up proper. Then pop them back in their boxes by morning so Tackleton wouldn't find out. It was just two days before Christmas when we met up with him. Oh, excuse me, sir. I had so much on my arms that I couldn't see you. No, no, it was my fault, I assure you. Here, allow me to help you pick those up. What is it, sir? My bones ache so terribly. I've no money for a room. Been sleeping out of doors. Why, that's terrible. In this weather. Oh, you must come home with me. 
I haven't much to offer, but you're quite welcome to share it with me. Bless you, son. Bless you. He was a funny, quiet sort of fella. Wouldn't hardly say boo. Just sat there looking at Bertha with them sad old eyes. We're so... I don't know how the nativity scene just comes out this movie randomly, but hey, you know. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings. Well, the following day, it was Christmas Eve. Oh, and we were really busy. Rest period. Do take a rest. I've decided to give you a Christmas bonus. Four whole shillings. Here, a shilling for you, girl. Hmm, well, I hope it doesn't bankrupt the old skin flint. Actually, I must confess to an ulterior motive. <laughs> this is a lonely old place for me, and I finally decided that what I need is a wife. A wife, sir? You? And why not? I cut a splendid figure. Oh. You say something? Uh, no, sir. Mm. Well, to get to the point, I'm happy to inform you that I've decided that the girl I would most like to so honor is none other than your own dear, lucky Bertha. What? No, we could be wed tomorrow. It's Christmas, a holiday. That way we wouldn't lose a day's work. <laughs> oh, sir. No, you don't have to make up your mind right away. Take your time. Think it over. Well, I'll give you uh, an hour and 15 minutes. Meanwhile, back to work. Oh, Father, I'm, I'm so very honored. But, but, my dear, you're just a child. Father, I haven't been a child for a long time. You've just got to accept the fact that I am a big, grown-up girl now. <laughs> Lullabies and fairy tales Pin Yeah, I guess this is a pretty good story. I'm not too sure. I'm going to skip it to the ending now. Because I don't want to make this video too long for you guys, because I know... Well, it is not working. So anyway, I have to say, guys, uh, thank you for watching this uh, movie review with me. Um, I had a lot of fun. This is a very classic story, and I'm sorry this video didn't end off quickly. Just he's not responding to me. So, and you know this old disto, they have those little tiny little issues that are annoying. But anyway, I just say thank you for watching on behalf of EPG Studios, y'all. And you guys have a good one. Make sure you guys have an amazing and safe holiday. <laughs> Jingle, 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 jingle